What's going on YouTube, man? I wanted to knock out a quick video talking about this nigga Vic Mensa, Mensa, however you pronounce his last name, um, making some very disrespectful comments about XXX Tentacion. And not only did he make very negative comments about XXX Tentacion, but he also did it on a huge platform, the BET Awards Cypher. And not only did he do it on a huge platform, but he did it right in front of that poor, uh, that that her, that boy's poor mother, you know what I'm saying? One thing about losing losing a child, you never really fully get over it. You know, you learn to deal with it better, but that's like a cut that could be reopened just like that. It's a very sensitive uh, uh, topic. It's a very touchy topic, subject, especially in the same year. You know what I'm saying? XXX died this year. He didn't die five years ago. He didn't die 10 years ago, 20 years ago. He died this year. So regardless of how you feel about him or how you felt about him at the end of the day his mother somebody who's has nothing to do with xxx's life uh xxx was that's that's hard to say over and over but uh tentacion he was a grown man when he passed away he was doing his own thing whether positive or negative he was his own man so you can't even hold his mother accountable for those things so to be sitting up there in front of his mother speaking these horrible things uh, disrespecting a man, a dead man, somebody who doesn't have the opportunity to come back and defend himself, somebody who doesn't have the opportunity to come back and give some sort of rebuttal to, you know, go back and forth with you, fight with you, shoot it out with you. You're going to let his mother hear it, his other family members. I think he has a child. I wasn't a huge fan of him, but um, I'm pretty sure his girlfriend just had a child. You know, his baby mama has to hear it. His child is going to grow up and hear about this. You a weird ass nigga, man, for real. And I miss the old days when people like this and hip hop would have been, you know, just completely eradicated. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, people are going to his comments and putting L's and shit like that. But, you know, I remember those are the days when people like this would have been X'd out. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't have even been allowed to do no shit like that. And he came out with a weak ass comment explaining, well, um, you know, he, he didn't say it exactly like this, but he was basically like, you know, my condolences to his mother. I didn't know she was in the, uh, in the crowd. But what I was just endeavoring to do was just, uh, you know, give a message, convey a message about how we need to protect the women. You know, this man was accused of beating this woman. Woo, 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 woo. You know, and regardless if Tentacion actually did beat that girl or not, um, we, we never got proof that he actually did it. These were all allegations. And of course, um, he passed away before um, he could go through the court process and actually get a conviction um, or be proven innocent. But of course, all charges were dropped when he was innocent or when he when he passed away. So he died an innocent man, per se. All the charges have been dropped. Instead of focusing on the negativity, focus on what he did positively. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he engaged in beefs. He may have, he may have, or he may not have beaten that girl. But look at all the positive things. Look at all the people he inspired. Look at what he was doing for his uh, community and for his family and everything. Even right on the day that he died, he was taking pictures with fans and joking and laughing. You know, he was living a positive lifestyle, inspiring people. And um, here's another thing about hip hop. What I don't like about a lot of people, especially black people, is we pick and choose what's acceptable and what's unacceptable. You know what I'm saying? We pick and choose what's bad and what's good. So you guys can listen. And I, I, I honestly, I'm just be real with you. I'm not even going to talk shit about his music, but I haven't heard one of Vic Mesa's song ever. But I don't know what he talks about. I think he does kind of like that woke shit, talking about politics and shit. You know, I, he thinks he's really intelligent. But um, one thing I don't like about black people is we can listen to somebody talk about doing drugs, selling drugs, killing people, beating motherfuckers ass, robbing people, um, you know, uh, having this uh, mindset of avarice, having premarital sex, doing this, that, and the third. But the minute somebody talks about hitting a woman one time or slapping the shit out the woman, <gasps> he's a woman beater. <laughs> As soon as somebody talks about some putting in somebody putting a, putting something in somebody's drink, <gasps> he's a rapist. Well, okay, that may be true, and I can understand castigating that. But why weren't you upset when he was talking about killing uh, uh, black men, black men and women? Why weren't you upset when he was talking about dealing drugs to our black brothers and sisters? You can't pick and choose what's right and what's wrong. <gasps> he hit a woman. Well, how come you weren't upset when he was talking about whooping 50 niggas ass at one time? He was acting like he was Superman. And he can whoop everybody in the whole club. How come that wasn't a problem? 
How come when he was talking about if somebody looks at my chain funny, I'm just going to gun them down. He going to uh, flame their ass up. How come that wasn't a problem? You know what I'm saying? So I don't like the whole Vic Mesa shit. He wasn't doing that, trying to really spread awareness. He was trying to do it to be edgy. He was trying to do it to gain popularity, to get people's attention to his music. Because let's just be honest, nobody's really checking for his music. You know what I'm saying? He's done a lot of different things that have um, hindered his own success. He's one of his own worst enemies. You know what I'm saying? Because, well, I did listen to like one verse one time. I was like, man, what's his music sound like? And the verse wasn't even bad. But the reason why people ain't fucking with him is because of goofy ass shit that he does like this. He does strange ass shit like this and it makes people not want to fuck with him. And then Adam22 from No Jumper, he came out and he was talking about it. And then this nigga, Vic Mesa, is going to pull up some allegations about him uh, supposedly raping two girls or beating two girls or possibly both. You know what I'm saying? He just does weird ass shit, man. No real nigga is going to use allegations to have some sort of rebuttal to another person. No real nigga is going to talk about a dead man right in front of his mama and talk about, oh, well, I didn't know she was there. It wouldn't give a, I wouldn't give a fuck if she was way over in China somewhere on the other side of the planet. You don't talk about dead people like that. You know what I'm saying? If you really felt that way about X, those allegations were coming out way before he died. You had months to put that out, but you waited till months after his death. Not just after his death, but months after months after his death to actually start speaking on these allegations. That's some goofy ass shit, man. So, you know, I just kinda wanted to rant about that a little bit. I have I have more to say, but I gotta get up out of here, man. So um let me know what you think about this shit, man. I just I've been seeing that shit. I've been waiting on him to come out and like give an apology. And even within his apology, it's still some bullshit because he's not really apologizing for what he did. He's just basically, excuse me, he's just kind of apologizing that it wasn't well received. You know what I'm saying? Because see, Vic Mensa is the type of guy who has this woke mentality and he's really just, um, he's he's basically still asleep. He's just he's just sleeping a different way. But see, what people like him like to do is they like to um, they like to basically say edgy things on purpose because it they think it's gonna put them in the same category as people like Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, he's basically he, he's always been a very vocal um, person in the hip. Well, he was a very vocal person in the hip hop community. He said things that other people were scared to do and say. And there's been a lot of other people, but that's kind of like the the template for how to be a edgy rapper, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a rapper that is has no fear whatsoever. That's what a lot of different people like Ben Mensa try to, they aspire to be like them. And they, they think if they say things about dead people, they think if they say things about this, they say things about that, they think that's gonna give them popularity, you know what I'm saying? But all it's gonna do is hinder their career. You know, Vic Mensa's career was already doing wasn't already it was already doing pretty poorly but now you basically just put the final nail in the coffin you will never you will never be successful again after that shit you did you know what i'm saying Motherf a lot of people weren't already fucking with you they you were already on those little l comments and everything like people always used to talk about you but you put the final nail in your coffin think about that boy soldier kid he had nothing to do with uh x x x x uh murder but he still suffers from that you know what I'm saying? He suffers for some shit that he didn't even do. So you're going to reap what you sow, man. You know, you really need to come out and make a real apology about what you did, man. That shit Vic Mensa did was just some some, some disgusting ass shit. I can't even believe he did that. So I appreciate you guys watching, man. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, peace.